Hey guys, it's Fiona from Eventide Reads and welcome to my March book haul. I wasn't planning on filming this, but I ended up with some time on my hands, so here it is! So my charity shop find this month was a Sarah Dessen novel and it is What Happened to Goodbye. Um, I own most of Sarah Dessen's books now. Um, probably, I don't know if you can see them, whether I cut them out in my edit. I've really enjoyed Sarah Dessen's books, they're so easy to read. When I'm in a slump or anything and I need something, this is what I go to. So, looking forward to reading this. I of course had to buy the new Terry Terry book, which is Book of Lies. A truth, a lie, to live or die. Now this is a little bit of a spin on her usual thrillers, she's done dystopian thrillers, this is a bit of a paranormal type thrillers about twins and they were separated and now they're together and strange things are happening and it could mean their death, is basically what it is in a nutshell. Haven't read it yet, it's quite, it's quite a sizable book which is nice and I'm really really looking forward to it because I've loved all of Terry's other books. I also bought Tommy Wallach's new book which is Thanks for the Trouble. I absolutely loved Tommy Wallach's first book, We All Looked Up. You can see my review, I will link it down below if We All Looked Up. It was fantastic. My boss is raving about his new book saying it is just as brilliant. So of course I had to buy it and I'm very, very excited about it. March means it was World Book Day. And of course I had to buy the two teen titles for World Book Day this year. Last year I only bought um, Maureen Johnson's prequel to the Shades of London, but this year I bought both of the teen ones, and that is Rainbow Rowell's Kindred Spirits and Juno Dawson's Spot the Difference. Um, I've read Rainbows and it was cute, it was very rainbow, it's based around Star Wars, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it was cute, it was nerdy, and of course, March saw the release of a book I was a little bit excited about. It's only marked in flesh by Anne Bishop! I tried to request this on NetGalley like two months ago or whatever. And I got denied and I was so sad because my NetGalley score is really bad. Um, I'm on auto approval for quite a few publishers and I really need to have a month where I just blitz all my ebooks because I've got so many good books through NetGalley that I just haven't got to yet. Story of my life. Um, but of course I bought this and I read it straight away because I friggin love this series. It is so, so good. An urban fantasy that is just more than the romance, more than just more. I'm so excited for the next book, which I believe is the last book. And oh my god, shit is gonna go seriously down and I can't wait. Next I'm going to talk about books that I requested and then some books that I received from publishers. But first, I'm going to talk about an event that I went to recently. So the lovely people at Penguin organised a dinner for some authors and a bunch of booksellers and the like and we all got together and it was a fantastic evening in this beautiful, beautiful restaurant that was far too posh for booksellers but it was a fantastic evening and we really, really enjoyed chatting to the authors so we got a goodie bag, I thought I'd share that with you today. The reason I wanted to record this video is because my cat has started chewing on the goodie bag so because it's paper. They gave us a little goodie bag with a penguin on and it's got some bookish treats and things in it. Bearing in mind this was like a month ago, there was a biscuit in there. I'm not gonna eat that now. I kind of forgot about it. Anyway, cute biscuit. And there was also a little wooden, um, I don't know what this would really be called but it goes along with a book called The River Keep which I will show you in a moment and I think this is really cute and I'm going to pop this on my shelf, hopefully my autofocus is working today because I accidentally misset it the other day. <laughs> so let's talk about the books that were in the goodie bag. First off we have Anna and the Swallow Man by Gabrielle Savit. Um, Gabrielle was there and he is hilarious. We had so, so much fun um, chatting with him and he signed my book to uh, Theatrix Potter. Um, we were talking about nickname. He was just so so funny. This is a historical novel, not typically my cup of tea, but I've heard nothing but fantastic things, so I am going to read it at some point this year. That is my plan. Yes. The next author and book combo that was there on the evening was Sally Green, who is celebrating the final book in her series Half Bad coming out soon, this is Half Lost, this is the third book. Unfortunately, I wasn't a huge fan of the first book and I never carried on the series, so 
this will be finding a new home at some point. But thank you very much to Penguin for including it in the goodie bag anyway. Then we had the joy of sitting next to Ruta Sepetis um, to celebrate Salt to the Sea, her new novel. Again, historical, not my thing. But I did read Out of the Easy, I think it was a couple of years ago, which I actually quite enjoyed. So I'm going to keep hold of this and definitely give it a read. Um, and just put a little message, thank you Fiona, hope, love, freedom, and a signature. So that's really cute, and she was so lovely to talk to, so open and vibrant, and we had so much fun. And lastly is a kind of exciting one, because if you are part of my book club at Waterstones Deansgate, our YAOK -okay book club, you might know I hint, well, I was speaking to two of you the other day, I don't know if you're going to watch this video, and I was hinting that yes, we might have been given a couple of copies of a book to read, and this might indeed be that book. And the book is Riverkeep, do you see a, you see a connection here? They did a thing! And it is Riverkeep, this is of course not the final cover, this is books they're sort of comparing it to and saying it's as wonderful as. We read the back of it and thought this might be really really interesting for the book club, because it's quite different, quite dark, um, quite mysterious. It is a sort of fantasy, mystery, dark, intriguing book that I don't want to give too much away because um, Book Club will be getting some copies of these. He was also at the event and that is Martin Stewart and he was wonderful. Um, I think I got mine. Did I get mine signed? Oh, there it is. Yeah. To Fiona, so great to meet you at dinner. Keep the river, I think that says. Um, and he signed it, which is lovely. So very excited for my book club to get the hands on this. We're going to be reading it in time for the publication and we're going to be tweeting about what we think and Instagramming and all sorts of fun stuff to celebrate its launch. And we're really rather excited, or I am, book club don't know yet, but probably some of you will now. And I hope you are excited. Go and have a look, research, see what you think. And I can't wait to hand it out in like two weeks time. No, a week's time. Oh my God, in a week's time, in a week's time. How I've kept that quiet for like nearly a month, I don't know. Because usually I'm like, oh my god guys, we've got a book! <laughs> so, very very grateful to Penguin who have sent me some copies to give to my book club. Um, hopefully we have enough, fingers crossed. <laughs> it's always the worry, always the worry. Um, yes, thank you guys, you're amazing. We had such a good evening and it was awesome. So, thank you Penguin. We love you. Next, I'm going to talk about a couple of books I got unsolicited this month. First off, I got a copy of Lifers. L live, li Lifers, yeah. I don't know why I just sounded wrong. Um, by M.A. Griffin. Um, this is the debut novel under this name. Um, this particular author has also written under a different name and wrote the book Poison Boy. I will put a picture here so you can see it. This one is actually set in Manchester, which is really, really exciting. It doesn't sound like my normal cup of tea, but the fact that it's set in my hometown made me go, I'm going to hang on to this, I'm going to read it and see if it's something I can recommend by a UKYA author about the place that I live in. I have great fun reading books that are set in places I know. Um, Emma Pass wrote about... Um, part of Sheffield when I was partially staying to and from Sheffield so that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, very excited. Next I got sent a copy of Flawed by Cecilia Ahern. This is Cecilia's debut YA novel. Oh, it comes with a little sticker. Huh, that's cute, I didn't notice that before. Um, it also came with a poster. I will unfold but you probably won't be able to see. Giant F for Flawed, part of the sort of logo I suppose of the book. This is a dystopian-esque novel I believe. Early reviews have been a little bit mixed. Now the next two books that I got unsolicited, I don't know which I'm more excited for, so bear with me for the excitement. First off is Morgan Matson's new book, The Unexpected Everything. So far I've heard fantastic reviews and I've been so excited for this book. Our Simon & Schuster rep dropped this off and someone hid it in my desk. So no one nicked it and I got to it the next day and I was very very excited because it's Morgan Matson and Second Chance Summer is one of my favourite books and I, I really enjoyed all her books and it's a new Morgan Matson I'm so excited! The other book I'm super excited about is You Know Me Well by Nina LaCour and David Levithan. <laughs> yes! My pretty! I'm a big fan of both of the authors and this is such a small little book that I'm pretty sure I'll fly through it. Thank you Macmillan for sending me this! I'm so excited! Oh, I can't
can't wait to read it. I cannot wait. I requested three books this month. First, I requested The Map of Bones by Francesca Haig, which is the sequel to The Fire Sermon, which I have not read yet. I know I'm naughty, but they had copies going spare. And it is one of those ones that I wanted to get the second book and marathon them. I very cheekily <laughs> was like, hey guys, can I have a copy if you got a spare one? And they went, yes. So thank you very much HarperCollins for sending me this. You guys are lovely. And I think it was HarperCollins who sent me Cecilia Hearn. Is that right? Did I forget? Yes. And thank you HarperCollins for Cecilia Hearn as well. And this month I saw the publication of a Gathering of Shadows by our favourite V.E. Schwab. So of course, when this went up for request on our intranet, I immediately was like, yes, please, please and thank you, please and thank you. So they, Titan very kindly sent me this. There's very, very few instances where I love the second book as much as I love the first one. Um, I'm pretty sure I gave the first one a 4.5 last year, and this is this is a 4.5 as well. It was, it was really different from the first book, but it was this underlying tone of intensity getting more and more sort of closing in and just, oh, it was brilliant and that ending though I need book three like anyone who's read book two will understand my pressing need for book three thank you Titan books for sending me this and lastly for the requested section is Catherine Howe's The Appearance of Annie Van Cinderen I have no idea if I'm pronouncing Cinderen correctly. Um, funny story, <laughs> I tried to request this a little while ago. Forgot that uh, Rock the Boat had my old work address, which was Macclesfield. And according to the manager, he's not seen them. So they very kindly sent me a finished copy, even though they didn't have to, because they are fantastic, fantastic people. And I'm currently reading it, as you can see, and it's a very strange book. It, it makes me jump to liking it, to not liking it, to liking it, to not liking it. I'm still really undecided. I'm like 70 pages in? 76. And I'm still really undecided about how I feel at all, which is unusual because by 100 pages, I've kind of made, already made a decision. Thank you once again to Rock the Boat. You guys are the bestest. I bought one graphic novel this month and that is Lucky Penny by Ananth Hirat Hirsch. Hirsch and Yuko Ota. Uh, Ota. <laughs> I'm so sorry I butchered that. This is basically a kind of coming of age, but it's more they're already an adult and they're trying to adult and it's not really working very well. And it just resonated a bit with me being an adult and not adulting very well. <laughs> um, and I really like the style. It's, it's in black and white. I would have preferred colour. I like my graphic novels to be in colour. Um, but the style is very reminiscent of a mixture of some of the online comics I like and Brian Lee O'Malley, whose style I adore, and I just, it just really caught my attention. So I'm planning on reading this soon, and it just, it sounds really, really interesting and sounds like I will relate, probably. Maybe. I don't know, we'll see. I might have a few volumes of manga to share. The first one I bought this month was Komomo Confissere, Confissere, Confessere, whatever, I don't know how you say it. Um, which is the first book. I haven't read this one yet, but it looks cute and I like the style. I'm very, very judgmental when it comes to picking up manga. I have to flick through it. If I don't like the art style inside, I put it down before I've even read the story. I know that's terrible, but that's just how I am at the moment. So I picked this up to give it a try. I don't know much else about it, but that's all I really needed to know. There's a romance and a pastry chef. The next book I picked up is a bind up of volumes 1 and 2 of Millennium Snow by Bisco Hattori. I think this was originally their first manga. You can kind of tell when you compare it to newer mangas by the author. Um, but yes, this is also the author of Our Own High School Host Club, which I really, really enjoyed. I love the anime for that. I've dipped and dived into the manga a bit over the years, and I'm really, really enjoying what I read of that. So I think I've read some of Millennium Snow online. But I don't remember any of it, so I bought the bind up of volumes 1 and 2 because it was on the shelf and I bought another of this particular author's work this month, hence the buying of this one. And that was the first volume in a new series which is called Behind the Scenes by the same author, Bisco Hattori, and as you can see the style is much clearer now. Um, it's probably something to do with the fact that this is published now and that's quite a few years old, Millennium Snow. I haven't read this yet. 
Um, but I'm excited because it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. A manga I mentioned recently in my last Manga Monday video, which is about what I was reading, um, Horror Mia Volume 2, and I'm really, really enjoying this series. There's just such a long gap between volumes and it makes me so sad. And of course, I ended up buying Moni Sakoi. <laughs> I bought Volume 10 and Volume 11 this month trying to pace myself, but we're already at volume 11 and I only started collecting at the beginning of this year. It's not a good sign. I'm still really, really enjoying it. It's ridiculously funny and silly and stupid and I just love it. And I also bought QQ Sweeper volumes 1 and 2 by Kiyosuke Motomi. The creator of this is also the creator of Dengeki Daisy, which you probably heard me mention quite a few times. I friggin' love Dengeki Daisy. If you haven't read Dengeki Daisy, you need to read it. And then you need to read this because there are some characters that reference Dengeki Daisy and it's brilliant. And I'm like, oh my god, yes! Dengeki Daisy starts off quite light and humorous but gets really dark. This is gonna get darker much quicker, I can already tell. But I'm really, really intrigued as to where this is gonna go. It's very, very different to what I'm reading in the rest of my mangas. So very excited. Again, having to wait now for volume three because volume two's only just come out. Sad times. And that's it. That is all the books I got this month and yes, there's a lot, I know. Might have gone slightly overboard, but I also got paid a little bit extra this month for overtime. So that's good, right? Are there any books that you're looking forward to that I hauled today? Is there anything I should be reading that I haven't read yet and you're gonna shout at me for? Because that usually happens. I hope you guys enjoy this video today and I will see you on my next video. Bye!